guys i'm heartbroken i don't know yesterday i've not been i'm let me just tell people anybody if you have life and good health eh, just be grateful to god i'm telling you guys look at this guy now he has gone he has gone Hello guys, good morning, how are you guys doing today? So this many days later, after that last clip, I told you guys, okay, I did that video, I think it was Mon no, Tuesday, that when I did that um, video, that last clip you guys saw, then um, this is um, Friday, so actually guys, I don't know, my little Chuku, I took her to the hospital, I dropped her at the vet, because she's not been feeling well, last thing she's not feeling well, her, her, what's the name, I don't know, you know, she recently, she's a, um, Recovering from uh, this uh, pavo uh, disease or something like that. What do they call them? This pavo disease. So I recently uh, brought her back. Well, I don't know. Sometimes was it two days ago? I noticed that her tie, that her abdomen side, that is her tie. The thing is cracked open. I can even see her internals inside. You understand? I can see her organs inside. Guys, it's a very very like. Oh God, I don't know. Promise came back yesterday, and do you know the worst part of it is that Milo keeps on leaking this thing, guys. Sorry, I'm watching you and driving. Milo keeps on leaking this thing, guys. I don't just know which kind of dog is this one. That is what is the most annoying part of it is that Milo is leaking it. I'm supposed to pass from it, guys. Sorry, I'm supposed to go to this thing. I'm supposed to pass from here. That is what happened. So Milo keeps on leaking it. That is just the worst part of it because guys, this is just so annoying. And as he's leaking it, the more she's leaking it, the more the wound is just um what am I saying? It's just are just um expanding. Guys, I don't know. Promise sorry this morning I started crying because promise I've not been around. She left on Monday, then she came back yesterday. Thursday. So yesterday when she came back it was in the night. So this morning now she now so when she saw the wound, promise that she me shed tears. Like this girl was crying. My sister was crying. I don't want to see my sister cry like this for if person that's a problem they cry like this was like his own tired but this dog has spent almost 30 something thousand you're going home now it's just 40 thousand on top of dog head me seven since they, they gave me uh, since they gave birth to me and now i spent up to up to 40k of my treatment before oh shall i go ahead post right now i've dropped her in the distance i was going to buy a basket i want to put that inside but now i'm going to the mechanic because my car i don't know the security system that is this uh remote the this thing it's not working so i'm going there right now so i don't know they said it's a rewire work i told the guy that i can see me as you see me so i don't know any pets i don't know any rewire now you've been mechanic quite new so definitely i'm going to work with you and i said okay i should bring the car to the workshop let's see what's going to do so that's what i'm going to now i think i'm going to cut up to you guys later right now i'm go i'm in el nio four station okay i'll see you guys soon bye Stop your cry, it's time to start enjoying the 
So guys, we just got here now. We just got to the um fuel station. I think fuel station. The mechanic. Let me just call him now to come out. Definitely, I have to use my phone and call him to come out. You understand? So guys, I'm going to catch up to you guys later. Let me just. I bet I'm wind down small. But what you know you do now? This car lock. This car should lock. I'm finished. So guys, I'm going to catch up to you guys later. Okay, bye. I don't get fuel. Fuel of 30k. Bye bye. Now I don't know where you think you carry me go. Usually what I used to do every time, I guys, how do you cope with the economy? Because what I used to do every time now is that maybe now if I buy fuel now, mm, I'll buy fuel 30,000 today if I'm going out. Maybe I might not go out, it must not be necessary that I'll go out tomorrow with the car, you understand? But I want to be to make me to go out to this car mostly it's because that was side these days to see bike is very scarce because of our bad road. So that was side, before you see bike, let's say you leave your house around 10 o'clock, say okay, I'm going out. Before you see bike and leave your side, you should be around 11. That's if you don't trick. To get to maybe the market junction before you get back. So that way, by that time I used to wait for back. I used to go to my if I mean the car, I just go to where I'm going to and come back. So what I used to do is I have three K for now today. Like tomorrow night I'm going out or maybe next tomorrow. Maybe what I have is um like two K or three K. I'll see by again and that what I used to do every day. Then the fuel is the uh, the fuel or fuel or just accumulating. So guys, I'm going to catch up with you guys later. Okay, I'm just gonna see what the man has to say about it. Several days later. <laughs> so hello guys, good day. How are you guys doing today? So this is um. I think this is, I think at this point, I think it's a week later or let's say six days. Mm, no, it's four days after that last video, that last clip you guys saw. So now I'm currently at the mechanic, I'm currently at the mechanic workshop because it's up to now. They say we can change battery of the car, this is security something. I've gone to can change it, but it's still giving the same result. It's not changing or anything. So guys, I don't know what to do, I swear. I don't just know what to do. I've, um... So I just called the mechanic, he said I should come. Then I asked him well, how much it's going to take. The price he was calling for me is not something that I could afford. So I told him that I got sick. Sorry guys, if you say I'm sweating so much. You know the heat now. When the heat is going to come back small small. Because they can't cool, they will fire me yesterday. So I told the guy that uh, this money I call him now, I don't feel afford. I told him what was my budget and what I could afford. And I said okay, that I should come, that we will manage and work with that. So that's why I say we will manage and work with that. Okay, I'm just add additional 1,000. Because I see you, I don't want anything to manage now. Tomorrow I'll see I'll come back for the same problem. I hate that kind of a thing. It's good now, come back for the same problem. I don't like it at all. So he said, Okay, I should just come. So I'm currently at his workshop. When I was coming, he told me that it's in market side. I was in the same place, also the same market side. So that time, but he said, Just let us go, let us meet in the shop. So I'm there now. So, guys, I think I have bad news. Um, I've cried my eyes out already. I don't just know why. I don't I feel like this month is unfortunate for me. This month of um, June is unfortunate for me. Even last month, I think I felt a bit of. Some unfortunate vibe last month. I don't know, guys. We lost um Milo Chuku. Yes, yesterday. Milo Chuku's um I think yesterday or day before I think yesterday morning, Milo Chuku's um doctor at the vet clinic called me. I was like, um uh, uh, hello, is this Milo Chuku's uh, daddy? I say yes, this is Milo's daddy. And I'm sorry that, uh, that uh, the dog is suffering so much and that um the plan is that they would like to maybe just um the dog, the dog will die or something like that. Then secondly, only for them to now come and start telling me now that unfortunately they lost Milo. Milo Chuku died. Guys, my sister has cried her eyes out and everything. So, so sorry guys. Then later on, the doctor called and was telling me, that, okay, this is Milo's dad. You look at, look at, look at that dog. My dog was suffering. I wasn't planning safe to even uh, uh, sedate the dog so that the dog can just die and just rest. You understand? But by the time they came back, they went to uh, they went to home and came back the following day. Found that the dog has already died. Guys, I don't know. I feel heartbroken. Promise I've not been herself. Promise I've been crying. It's been ah, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Eh? Don't be me, deal. I'm telling you, this dog never pay me. Uh, last dog said pay me, sha, but not reach this one. My mother has been crying non-stop. My mother has been crying non-stop, guys. Like it's anyway, sha. It's fine. Go go help us. All I know is that I'm not mentally or I don't I'm not mentally and emotionally ready now. Even physically ready now to take care of another dog, at least for maybe a year or two, I don't know. 
people can say okay, we can end with dog again. But at least our last dog died in um, 2020. That is COVID 19 time. When I got on that dog this year, so that dog was like promised Valentine's gift. Someone gifted her. Yes, it was her Valentine gift. So guys, I don't just know, but <laughs> God will help us. God will help us. It's just bad news for me. I, I've been saying that this see this June. It's bad for me. I won't lie to you guys, it's bad, but we still believe in God. I said, I'll never say, God, why, why this, why that. That's the greatest mistake I want to make. I said, God, why this, why that. But I believe in Him. I know He's going to make way for me. There's no way. So, I'll just keep quiet. No, everything that happens is for the best and for the betterment of all of us. So, even my little let us can rest. And I still continue to rest in peace. Well, guys, I just, I'm just here to end this vlog um, for you guys. So, I'm, guys, I'm going to catch up with you guys. I want to give you guys another, I don't know, full story of how everyone reacted to the dog. How the dog even came sick entirely. How the dog even started talking to a house. How the dog left. How the dog, everything. I want to give you guys a full story, a full documentary about my little chico. So, I'm going to catch up with you guys later, okay? Bye. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'm going to see you guys soon, okay? Bye. I'm